Hi guys. Um, here's the demo that I did out in the hallway. Completely dry. I'm going to try different things on it. It's not quite finished. Almost finished, but not quite. This is overbearing right here. So I, to counterbalance that, I need some of it maybe here maybe here. I haven't decided where yet, where I'm going to take it through. Um, thinking about putting a little bit more blue down in here so it's not quite as gray. Thinking about taking some of the blue over top of this, like a glaze over top of this, just to push this back a little bit. So that's, those are the different things that I'm thinking right now. So we will see. We're gonna, I'm getting ready to start. Again, I did this in the hallway a couple days ago. It was a demo. And believe it or not, most of the painting was done with this. This little tiny kitchen spatula. I love painting with these. Some of the colors that I was using is um, cerulean blue, black and white, uh, phthalo turquoise or thalo blue. I'm thinking about putting maybe a splash of orange in it. I'm not sure yet. Either a splash of orange or a splash of light green. But it shouldn't take me too long to finish this, but I certainly have said that before, haven't I? And I used a lot of glazing uh, medium. What this is, it's uh, Liquitex uh, Glazing Medium. Uh, Golden also makes it. A lot of the different brands of paints make the glazing medium. You can also, if you don't have glazing medium, you can use um, Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. It will do the same thing, except you're, it's going to be more glossy. I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, you know what we can do because it is totally dry. You can see I pushed that back just a little bit. I don't know if you can notice that or not. But that is not the brush I want. It's too soft. I don't like real soft brushes. I, I, I like bris, bristle brushes. Those are my favorite. more blue down in through here. It's a little bit too gray. And the blue that I'm using right now is cerulean blue. Gives that corner a little bit more interest, I think. I like that. There's a little bit of phthalo blue. Let's try that. Which is much, much deeper. So hot in here. Can you see how that dried immediately? Wow. Okay, I'm going to spray it with something. What I'm spraying it with is something called Unlocking Formula. Unlocking Formula. It's made by um, Atia, and it will release acrylic after it's dry and make it softer that you can lift it. 
I guess that's why it's called a locking formula. Can you see what happened there? See how great that stuff is? I'm gonna put some more blue there, I think. But, stuff is really good. It's called Unlocking Formula. If I can find it over here, I'll show it to you. Okay, I found it. I use this quite a bit with my acrylics made by Atier. It's called Unlocking Formula, Atier. And I think Blix and, and Jerry's and uh, Joe's, Cheap Joe's carry it. And what I do is I put it in a spray bottle and use it like water. And I'm spraying. See, now that almost counterbalances that. Almost. I just, I, I feel that I have to push this back even further. this little bit coming down here. I have to decide about that up there. I think I'm going to take some blue, put a little bit of black in it, and some white. Nope, that does not do it. I'm going to wipe that off before that dries. Bigger brush. I use these all the time. I love these brushes. These are Liquitex brushes. They're called Freestyle. They have a long handle on them, and I, and uh, uh, the uh, bristles are almost like bristle brushes, but uh, they're softer. But they're not real soft. needs a little bit of white. I'm going to use this. I think it's done. Now I have to decide on do I want to put any orange into it. A little bit of that thing will blow up in the other part. And through here. Because that phthalo blue is a different color. This is cobalt blue. This is phthalo blue.
what I'm looking for is how all of this is lining up. Is this longer than this is longer than anything. This is the longest part right here. Mess that up, didn't I? We'll just put some blues on top of it. I wanted to put a little bit more dark. I have dark up here. done. I'm liking all the different parts. I'm going to get some orange out. I'm going to try some orange now. The only colors I've been working with is black and white and cerulean blue and phthalo blue. I'm going to get a little bit of orange out, make it juicy, and fling it. See what happens. But I am going to dry this first because I want to make sure this is good and dry before I do that so I can wipe it. If I don't like it, I can wipe it off if I don't like it. The orange that I'm using is uh, Cat Orange by Lucas. It's a more of a, a flow or a liquid than it is a heavy body. It's a soft body paint. Well, I'm kind of liking that. Except it's not flinging enough for me. Gotta try something else. I'm going to try a fan brush. Came down here. I don't want it down there. I want it up here. So I'm going to wipe it off down here. I do like that. I'm going to put some more on. A little bit. You probably, I'm sure you can't see it, but when I give you the close-up, you will be able to. And I've thinned it down with glazing medium. What it needed. A little bit right up in here.
Yeah, just a couple little dots. Just some dots. Okay, I'm quitting. I love it. And I'll give you a close up and a photo. The orange is what did it. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm going to post all of this as one big, uh, one long piece because a lot of it, a lot of the demo that I worked on at one, uh, Saturday when I was out in the hallway it really didn't show up that well. So at least you have an idea what it looks like now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I have to get up a lot darker Day. than what it really is. It's more of a blue gray, but it's showing up very dark in certain areas. It's not that dark. can see some of the orange dots some of the orange that I flung Thanks so much.